Business tonight, Singtel's first half net profit rose by nearly a quarter to about $1.17 billion from last year's $954 million. The sale of a 3.3% stake in New Delhi-based Airtel boosted the telco's gain. But uh, Singtel's operating revenue dropped by 5% because of unfavorable forex exchange rates. Our revenue from Singtel's local consumer segment grew slightly by 1%. It was driven by data roaming usage by travelers and and 5G adoption. But equipment sales fell and uh, pay TV sales went down by as much as a fifth. That's because of supply shortages of high-end handsets and the end of the telco's rights to the English Premier League. As Group CEO says the telco is well positioned to weather global economic headwinds. And these include high inflation and rising interest rates. But Singtel remains focused on its strategic reset. In the last 18 months, we've done quite a fair bit. We have almost, we've unlocked uh, up to $6 billion of uh, cash. And, um, you know, this is actually fully funded our growth initiatives uh, in the next two years. We'll continue to uh, work on recycling more capital and uh, to, fund, to fund future growth initiatives, to investment in 5G, uh, reducing our debt, as, as well as uh, if any more surpluses, we'll return to well, Sintel says underlying net profit grew 2% to over $1 billion compared to last year's uh, $983 million. It's proposing an interim ordinary dividend of 4.6 cents per share and a special dividend of 5 cents per share that will be given out in December and next August.